In the search for answers to the mysteries of chronic disease, it all starts with asking the right questions. Yet, for people living with chronic disease and their loved ones, their questions often seem to get lost in the research process. So in the past, who has asked the, the questions? It was industry. They want to know if their medication is going to work or not so that they can get it approved and then sell it. Institutions and researchers, they always had research questions that they wanted answered. The government, advocacy organizations. Well, today, we're part of that who's asking the questions. So it's no longer driven by industry and by the government and things like that. We're also asking the research questions. Questions like these from patients and their families are changing the face of research. This three-part video was developed by the Arthritis Foundation with researchers, parents, and patients, people just like you, to help you understand what research really is and the part you can play in it. You'll learn the different ways parents and patients become involved in research. You'll see the benefits of enrolling in research studies. And you'll be introduced to a whole new way to get involved as a partner or advisor, helping to inform and improve how research is conducted. No matter how you choose to get involved, your input matters, and there are so many questions yet to answer. So there are certain things that um, in the system that are already changing because of things that parents and other types of patients have done. So in um, uh, demanding that things need to happen more quickly, there are uh, many more patient reported outcomes that are being incorporated into studies because I care what your child's joint count is, but I know that families generally care more about whether the joints hurt or whether the patient is tired um, and whether they feel like they can participate in the things around them. That has never been really part of the outcomes that we traditionally have looked at in clinical trials. That's changing. Let's take a closer look at the different ways you can get involved. Patients should still enroll in research studies as active participants or subjects. In fact, that's more critical than ever. But now, patients and their families can also be research partners, using their questions and life experiences to help researchers define and create studies. Being a part of a research team may sound scary, but it's not. It could be super intimidating to be a, a partner in research. Um, after all, they spent their careers um, studying and learning about this stuff. And you might walk in as a patient, family, or a caregiver, you might walk in saying, oh, I'm not qualified to do this. But really, you are qualified because you're an expert in knowing what is important to you. And that's the perspective that researchers need. Having input from parents allows researchers to know what matters most to those living with chronic disease and their quality of life. When my son was diagnosed, um, I didn't really hear the diagnosis. I didn't hear the different treatment options. Um, the only thing I heard was we use this in some cases because it works very quickly. And that is all really I needed to hear. That was what was important to me at that time. He had suffered enough. Years later, my son is doing well and he's playing ice hockey and it was time to treat him again um, because he was having problems with his joints and he went on a treatment and he was doing very well and his rheumatologist said he's doing very, very well because the inflammation is gone from his feet, but also gone was his appetite and he lost a lot of weight and he got very weak. And so what was important to him at this time was I have to be able to play ice hockey this drug is not working for me. Patients and parents having a hand in research is changing the course of chronic disease and maybe even the potential for remission or the cure. I definitely think they're constantly developing. I mean, they even said several years ago, a lot of kids were in braces and in wheelchairs and you just don't see that as often anymore. There's a lot more activity that these kids can do, and I, I look forward to them continuing research and hopefully finding a cure someday, so that, that that's the biggest thing is hope. What does being involved in a research study as a participant or subject really mean? Before you can answer that question, you need to know about the different types of research. Research can happen in laboratories or in clinics where studies like comparative effectiveness research, or CER, take place. 
CER compares different options to one another, like does Biologic A work better than Biologic B? These comparisons can help patients and their parents make better treatment decisions. We're just watching however you're living right now, so nothing's changing. We're not asking you to do anything different. That's what an observational study might look like. No intervention, no change. But if we think about an interventional study, now we need to add something to the mix. There has to be something that we're investigating. We want to know if this thing works. There are two other types of research to consider. One is prospective research, and that's looking at you into the future, so many months or years ahead. And the opposite of that would be retrospective research, where we're looking backwards. So in clinical retrospective research, what we would often do is look at medical records or claims data to gather those insights. Don't worry. Every research study is monitored by a whole host of rules and regulations. A whole set of laws called the Common Rule was passed, and it prescribes how review boards review protocols, studies, and make sure that they're safe and that they are protecting the people who participate in them. And it also lays out rules about making sure a given study is done the same way every place it's done. All research participants must also sign a document that explains the study and its potential benefits and risks. Your help increases our knowledge about how to best treat chronic diseases like juvenile arthritis. Plus, there may even be immediate benefits for you. Looking back, I'm proud to have been a part of something where I could contribute to the advancement of scientific knowledge and learn more about my disease. Being part of the research study, I discovered what treatments work best and how to better manage my flares that I would get each winter. It doesn't matter how I feel here and now. What matters is that me going through this will help other kids with arthritis in the future. So how can you get involved? You can begin by asking your doctor about any research studies that may be a good fit for you or your child. You can also reach out to organizations like the Arthritis Foundation or CARA, the Childhood Arthritis and Rheumatology Research Alliance, for information. Get involved today. Together, we can make a difference. There's a brand new way to be involved in research. When you are a partner on a study, you or your child are not the participants or subjects. Instead, you actually help plan and conduct the study. This makes navigating the landscape of chronic disease a much different journey. I guess one of the main ways that I've benefited is that I become so aware of everything being done in the field. There's a lot of variation in, in treatment and knowing that you're getting the best treatment and knowing what is available to you is super important for me because it gives me peace of mind that yes, I'm doing everything I can to help my child. Patient and parent partners are the bridge between people living with chronic disease and those studying it, since only they can provide key insights and understanding that may evade researchers. There are different ways patient partners can assist. They can help researchers identify and refine research questions and prioritize research needs. It becomes really important for us as the researchers to understand which of the questions you want us to do first, because they're not all going to be answered at the same time. I mean, it's just the way it is. And so prioritization becomes super important. Parents and patient partners can better explain the risks and benefits of participating as partners and answer questions along the way. They encourage others to participate and help ensure the entire process runs smoothly. And when the study is complete, they can help reword the research results in ways that are easy for patients to understand. Since patient and parent partners are involved from the beginning, they can make a big difference in the quest for solutions. So how can you become a patient or parent partner? You can reach out to organizations like the Arthritis Foundation and CARA to learn more about their latest studies. You can also sign up for the Partners Project, one of the biggest research efforts focused specifically on juvenile arthritis. There's never been a better time to get involved in research. Whether as a participant or as a partner, you have the power to help unlock the mysteries of chronic diseases like arthritis. Makes me feel happy and kind of good that I'm also helping other kids with arthritis fight through it.